Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a banana bread. Really tasty, soft and moist and gorgeous. So I hope you like the video. Do give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and family and on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge and hit that notification bell. So that gives you a gentle reminder of when the video comes out so you don't miss out on any. Oh, and I'd love it if um, you comment on the video and I will get back to you. So enjoy. Right, these are the ingredients for the banana bread. It's so simple to make. We have self-raising flour, 650 grams. We have 100 grams of chocolate chip, 65 grams of white sugar, 50 grams of brown soft sugar. If you don't have that, you can just use all caster sugar. We have 85 grams of butter, vanilla extract or vanilla essence so is fine, two eggs, and of course our bananas, two, ba two bananas. So you want your bananas nice and ripe. Right, so you're just gonna squash your banana up with a fork. So it'd be best to do this on a plate. So you're best to squash it as much as you can so you don't get the lumps, too many lumps on it. So that's how we want it and that looks lovely. So we're just going to put this banana into a mixing bowl. Right, so now to that banana, we just melted some butter. So we're just gonna pour that melted butter onto the banana. Give it a mix. And then we add both our sugars. It's one of the most easiest recipes for making cakes. No cream in the butter and sugar and everything. It's just put it all into a bowl. Now we're gonna add our eggs. And the beauty of this is it doesn't have a lot of sugar in this recipe because you've got the sweetness, natural sweetness of the bananas. So look how easy that is. Just put it all in. You also want to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence or extract. So we're going to do this in three parts, the flour. So just sift a little bit to start with into your mixture and gently fold this around. Right, so you're just going to mix this around. Nice and gentle, and sweep up any flour that's around the outside. Okay, so we'll just do our second lot of flour and we'll mix all this nice and gentle. Don't go speeding around at 100 miles an hour. Just nice gentle folds, but make sure it has mixed well because you don't want big lumps of flour in your cake. Make sure you get your flour all around the outside. That's why a spatula is perfect for this, to scrape on the edges. Because you think you've mixed it and then sometimes you have this big lump of flour just come from somewhere. So just check that you don't have white floury bits. And then your third lot. So when you do this third lot, it does get quite thick. So it's a lot drier and thicker at this stage. And that's okay because we're going to be adding some milk to it in a minute. Okay, so now we're just going to add a tablespoon of milk. Another gentle mix. Right, now the very last part is we add the chocolate chips. Just keep a few left over because we're going to put them on the top. Mix these chocolate chips in. Again, not too firmly, nice and gentle. Right, so here we have um, a bread tin, a loaf tin, and I've just put in one of these paper liners inside. You can buy a packet of them like this. It just makes it easier. Otherwise, you can just get some greaseproof paper and line the tin yourself. So you just put this mixture into your tin. So just flatten this a little bit with your spatula or the back of a, a tablespoon. Okay, so then we're just going to add um, some chocolate chips on the top. And this just makes it look extra nice when it comes out of the oven to have those few bits on the top. And you can see how quick and simple that recipe was. It really is a good recipe to do with the children. And even if you're doing it on your own, it's just so easy. It's a good way to use up ripe bananas. You don't have to use chocolate chips, but I just think it's, it makes it that extra special when you do. 
right I'm going to put this into the oven now and then I'll show you what this is like when it comes out right so here we have our cooked banana bread and as you can see how gorgeous this actually looks and after you let it cool for about 15 minutes that's the time to actually cut it and you're best to cut it with a bread knife look how beautiful and soft that is and moist and it tastes so nice Thank you for watching today's video with Lifestyle with Sharon on how to make banana bread. Look forward to doing more videos for you.